archetypes and memes are uh, are almost too unrelated to even um, call for a, a comparison and contrasting session, but um, since it's been called for, it's important to keep in mind that an archetype is, by its very definition, completely intangible and completely inaccessible. Um, any ideas that we have about an archetype, uh, those ideas would be closer to memes than they would be to the archetype themselves, because the, the the whole point of an archetype is that it, it it's a it's a definition of a construct that is so vague. Um, in terms of the way that we can understand it consciously that any um, any attempt to conceptualize uh, an archetype on a, on a conscious level um, will do nothing more than barely point at the actual archetype itself um, it's all it's really important to keep in mind that the unconscious is unconscious so it, it, it it's a pro it's probably a common misconception that um by knowing uh about the theory of the existence of a collective unconscious that you can somehow delve into it but the whole the whole point and um i believe this probably videos you can look up um here, where you can hear Young talk about this himself, um, the whole point of the unconscious is that you cannot make it conscious. Um, there's a brief interaction between the conscious parts of uh, uh, the conscious mind and the subcon uh, unconscious mind uh, during dreams, supposedly, but um, it's my personal theory that. Um, During a dream, we experience pure, um, unconscious, more astral, uh, uh, types of things, um, and during the dream, there are no images, no concepts attached to the pure, um, usually unconscious emotional experience that we're having at the time. Uh, to clarify that, uh, when we awake and we recall a dream, the process of recollection there, um, because we've switched to the mechanism of consciousness because we're awake, um, uh, the, the remembering, the recollection automatically attaches um, symbols that uh, the consciousness can use to represent the um, experience that was unconscious. Um, these symbols that we a attach when we're in our waking state, those are memes. Um, if anyone has ever, if, if anyone's ever done a um, detailed dream journal, kept a, personally I have a typewriter right next to the bed, and so immediately upon waking from a dream I type, uh, type, type it up as quickly as possible, um, poor grammar, poor, uh, no backspace, just as quickly as I can do it. Um, and I, I've been doing that for a long time, and I remember a very distinct um, moment after a vivid dream when I realized as I was typing that what I was writing in English, the, the words that I was using, the symbols, the ideas themselves that I was using to describe the experience of the dream, I was generating those on the fly as I remembered that dream, and um, the reason I needed to do that is because I don't speak unconscious. The language of un because I, I uh, as I am in this waking state, I am conscious. Um, so that translation is automatic, and it's so automatic and um, and so usually unexamined that um, nobody even really knows about it. Um, 
I'm not even sure if um, if what I'm getting into now is even something that Young talked about. Um, if he did, it would have been in his last work, um, uh, the Memories, Dreams, and Reflections one. Um, but but I, for, from my own personal experience, um, you know, Young, Young did say that one must stand by the objectivity of the subjective experience. Um, from my own experience, I am sure that um, what I remember happening in the dream, the event, sequence of events that I used to represent the unconscious thing that happened or whatever um, that that is not the actual original wording um, it's a translation from unconscious archetypal interaction to conscious um, representation of that through memes <laughs>